Hello Internet people, my name is Robert and I'll show you how to add code to the head tag in WordPress. There's a lot of software that asks you to add some JavaScript or CSS in the header like Google Analytics, Tag Manager or your email marketing software. Now I'll show you two ways of doing this. In the first we'll just install a plugin and in the second you don't need a plugin but, but I recommend this only to people that have a child theme in WordPress. Now, for most of you, I think the best way to do this is actually to use a plugin. So all you have to do is go to plugins and then add new. Then in the search box, type in insert header. You want to pick the plugin from WP beginner, insert headers and footers. So let's install it. And don't forget to activate it. Now in the left, just find your settings. And now you have here insert headers and footers. So if you click on it, you can see that you have three fields here. You have the scripts in header, which is the same as head tag, scripts in body and scripts in footer. So now you can choose. And let's say I want to have my script in the head section. You can see here as well. Then just copy paste it here. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do is save now and your code will go live. If you have a caching plugin, you can empty your cache and then just wait for it and it will start working. Now you could just add the code to your theme file editor without installing any plugins, but if you update your theme at any point, the changes will be lost. Unless you use a child theme, then the theme editor is the way to go. You just do it in your child theme. So to do this, just hover over the appearance and then choose theme file editor here. And then here on the right, if you scroll down, you should find header.php. And now you need to find closing head tag, which looks like this one here. This is the closing tag. And if you make a bit of space, you can now place your script here. And then you can scroll down and update the file. And since you just installed a few scripts, uh, maybe your website will feel a bit too slow. Then check out this video where I'll show you how one plugin improved my Google page speed score from this to this.